Unpopular opinion, but Arrow season two greater than Netflix Marvel. Wait, shut your mouth. Shut, shut your, shut your mouth. You're just coming off stupid. Well, welcome back to another installment of Unpopular Comic Book Movie Opinions. It's been a few months since we had a new entry in this series, and you guys have been asking for a new video, so here we are. I put out a post and asked you guys where are your unpopular opinions or hot takes on comic book and superhero TV shows and movies. There were a lot of comments to look through, but here are the ones that I picked out. These are the more unique and interesting takes and stuff that we haven't covered before. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. I got my tongue up this chick's ass. Pre-MCU Marvel movies are better superhero movies than MCU movies. I don't completely agree. I mean, before the MCU was a thing, there were definitely some really good comic book movies. But for every good comic book movie, there was at least two to three bad ones. I mean, in the 90s and early 2000s, the genre was mainly seen as just a laughing stock. And it was really rare in that time period to get a really good superhero film. Not really a movie opinion, but I disagree with people saying Tom Holland's Spidey is too lighthearted to fight Tom Hardy's Venom, and that Andrew would be a better match. Venom was goofy as fuck in the first film, and seems to be embracing it and let there be carnage. I think their rivalry could really work for future projects. Yeah, I've been seeing that too, and it doesn't make any sense. They seem to forget that Venom was a pretty weird and goofy movie. It wasn't dark and serious. If Tom Holland's Spider-Man appears in Venom 2, or interact in future projects, I think they'll be fine. Doctor Strange is the best MCU solo film because I loved how unique it is. It honestly feels like Inception than it does an MCU film. It has the best pacing. I love how Doctor Strange, unlike most superheroes, used his brains to outsmart the villains instead of just punching them like most superhero movies. I think Doctor Strange is a pretty decent solo movie. Its best aspects are the visuals. And as for using his brains, I'm pretty certain Tony Stark did the same thing against Obadiah because he couldn't overpower him so he flew really really high and caused his suit to freeze. I think the movie's just okay. Unpopular opinion, I think the X-Men franchise is underappreciated. I think it's because in the X-Men franchise, you have some really good films and then some really bad ones. I mean, for every Logan, there's an Apocalypse or a Dark Phoenix, and aren't the New Mutants technically considered an X-Men movie? But I guess looking back on it, people do overlook how good some of these movies really were. Sin City and Sin City 2 are the most unique looking comic book movies ever. The only movie that even comes close to the feeling you have watching these movies is Speed Racer. Oh yeah, visually, Sin City 1 and 2 have a great style. Remember that Max Payne movie that came out in 2006? I remember that movie was trying to visually look like Sin City. I mean, there's also the spirit that kind of looked like Sin City, but that was also written and directed by Frank Miller, so that explains why. Ewan McGregor's Black Mask is the best DCEU villain. He's hilarious to watch with him being the most insecure and petty villain of all time, and can be genuinely intimidating when cutting people's faces off. An amazing sign of a great villain when he can be both funny and slightly intimidating. Originally, I wasn't a big fan of Black Mask and Birds of Prey, but after watching it recently, I gotta say, I think I was too harsh on that movie. And Black Mask is pretty entertaining, even though he gets comically over the top towards the end. The MCU needs movies with less humor. The humor in Black Widow and Shang-Chi really didn't work in some scenes. Oh yeah, I completely agree. I think most people do, actually. With the past couple movies, you can really see they're not even trying anymore with the humor. There's kind of insert and random quips where it's not necessary. I think humor has been an issue in the MCU for at least three to four years, but recently it's becoming more apparent that they're not really trying anymore. It's like they're just putting in the quips because they feel like they have to. The Suicide Squad had better characters and emotional moments than Guardians of the Galaxy. I disagree. Virgin alert! Oh, would you look at that. It's time to see who left me the best clickbait title to use. Ladies and gentlemen, we got our winner. Hey, that's pretty gay! I personally think that although they're not the best, the Tom Holland movies are enjoyable and not as bad as people say. I plan to do a video about the Tom Holland Spider-Man movies soon, so I won't go too much into it, but I will say that I agree to an extent. The Punisher 2004 is one of Marvel's best films. The leads are great, the action is fantastic, especially the scene with the Russian, and the score is one of the most underrated film scores ever. There are a lot of things that I like in Thomas Jane's Punisher, but for me personally, I prefer Warzone, which I actually did a whole video on, check it out, but I don't think the 2004 film is that bad. Venom is better as a Spidey antagonist. Even though he has his own villains, it'll be better if Venom's movies reflect his relationship with the symbiote and his Spider-Man. Yeah, I prefer Venom as a villain and antagonist as opposed to an anti-hero, but I do appreciate the fact that they're able to do Venom without needing Spider-Man. Shang-Chi was the best Marvel movie since Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, there's been some really good Marvel movies since Guardians of the Galaxy, but yeah, Shang-Chi was a really good film, and honestly, it was the first time in years I actually really enjoyed an MCU movie. Before that, the last one I enjoyed was Infinity War. Batman movies need more of those fantastical elements that his world is known for, like Man Bat and the Lazarus Pit, more supernatural elements like the comics. I never liked the Nolan's realistic take on Batman's world, and I'm hoping that the new Batman trilogy will introduce more supernatural elements down the road, even if it's something as simple as Poison Ivy or animal-human hybrids like Killer Croc or Man Bat. I'm also hoping to see some of that stuff in a Batman movie soon, because we already had 
Brad Nolan's realistic take on things, so it's time to pull from those supernatural elements. Tom Hardy's Venom crossing over to the MCU is a bad idea. Eddie Brock is nothing like he is in the comics, not to mention the first movie was awful. I just don't see this version crossing over at all. I'm not too keen on him crossing over the MCU as well, but that's mainly because I'm tired of seeing things connect to the MCU and I want them to be their own thing. I guarantee at some point though, Spider-Man will make an appearance. I mean hell, they might use that multiverse thing to their advantage and make this like an alternative universe or timeline or something. Big Hero 6 is a great movie, and when I saw it, I knew there would be a show. I've actually never seen Big Hero 6. That's the one with really thick ant, right? I mean, there's a reason to watch right there. Superman Returns is in my top 5 DC films, meaning I put it above Joker and Zack Snyder's Justice League. I think Superman Returns is probably one of the most boring DC films. I already did a whole video about this before, but I feel like it tried to harken back to the Christopher Reeves era of Superman way too much, and comes off as very safe and boring and dull. Just because something's comic accurate does not mean it's good. Yeah, this is true to an extent, it also depends on what the thing is that's comic accurate or not. Like, I understand why when they adapt comic book characters, they usually change their outfits to make them look less silly to general audiences. But yeah, I agree, but it also depends on what the comic accurate thing is. Titans is one of the best superhero shows ever. It's up there with Daredevil and The Boys. I made a quick video a while ago talking about Titans and my frustrations with it, but I tried watching it several times and personally, I can't get into it. But hey, if you enjoy it and you think it's one of the best shows, then good on you. Enjoy. I feel like when the MCU reboots the X-Men franchise, it won't be the same. I understand the continuity and the timeline in the X-Men movies is really screwed up, but the movies are just so iconic to me. And I can't picture anyone else playing the characters. Like, who the hell would play Wolverine? That's Hugh Jackman. Nobody can replace him. I just feel like the MCU X-Men would be watered down. I'm really curious how they're going to introduce X-Men and Fantastic Four. If I had to guess, they're probably going to use the multiverse. Or if they completely reboot the X-Men, I feel like they can still use some of the same actors. Like in Spider-Man Far From Home, they still use J.K. Simmons as J. J. and Jameson. The 2009 movie Push with Chris Evans is underrated. You know, I thought the same thing too for a while. And then a few years ago, I rewatched it and I realized it's not really that good. The idea is cool. There are some really cool moments. But overall, the movie as a whole is not that great. The first three X-Men are not that good. I mean, the first two are just okay, but the third one is awful. I mean, I really think for the time, they are great. You know, in the early 2000s. But for me personally, I never really got into X-Men, so I do think they are okay, but they are still very good. Although X-Men 3 really isn't that good at all. I agree with that. Hellboy 2019 wasn't a terrible movie. I think it's pretty decent. I'll be honest with you, I never finished it. I started it, but then I kind of got bored and didn't really feel like watching it anymore. I do plan to give it another chance, just to see if it is as bad as people say. Robert Pattinson will be the best live-action Batman ever. Dude, Ben Affleck is right there. I am actually really looking forward to Pattinson's Batman. Wanted was a decent movie, but it's so underrated that it is forgotten in the list of underrated superhero movies too. I always forget about this movie. I remember when it first came out, I was in like high school, and people were hyped about it. But then it came out, then I heard nothing. I remember there was like a tie-in video game, but I haven't seen this movie in at least 10 years. Gonna have to give it a rewatch soon. Black Widow was actually really good. The original Iron Man was only okay. Boo this man! No! Loki in the first Thor movie was and is still the best villain in any superhero film, and I'm dying on that hill. I mean, I think he's definitely one of the best MCU villains, or at least he was before Ragnarok, and I think he's the best part of the first and second Thor movies. People pretend to like movies that are seen as unpopular or were bad at the time to just seem different from everyone else and have a unique opinion. They also shit on popular ones for the same exact reason. Is that like a personal attack or something? I mean, people out there like that definitely exist, and it's not just in movies either. You can find them in music, video games, books, any form of entertainment really. I'm gonna go out and say it. Spider-Man 2 is pretty shit. Be very careful with the next thing you say. Easily the worst of the trilogy, I hated everyone in that movie, and they are all complete assholes from start to finish. Also, this is more of a criticism of the first movie, but kinda carries over, but Toby was too old for this role. That's not very careful. <laughs> So that's gonna do it for the video, hope you enjoyed. If you did, gonna leave a like on it. And leave a comment, let me know what is your unpopular comic book movie opinion. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time. I'm not leaving empty handed, so I might as well get the eggs and sausage with the side of homemade ranch and the scrambled bussy. What? You weren't supposed to be into it. I was being ironic when I told you to demolish my bussy. Did I stutter?